Now here's a little collection of rocks that hopefully all contain silver from my last trip up north on the May long weekend. All of them have metal in them. Uh, I've cleaned up very few. Like there's one that's cleaned up, but it's not shiny. So right now, they're looking pretty much just like rocks. You can see urethrite in that one. Hard to say what else is in there. This one I scratched up, and you can see right in through here some silver. But so what I'm doing, and this is just to see how it works, is I've got a, a cheap rock tumbler, and I'm going to load it up to about three quarters full, two thirds full, and I'm going to add vinegar and a little bit of salt. And I'm going to just run it for a few hours and take a look. Got to be careful because if the rocks have a bit of calcite in them, they will uh, react with the uh, with the vinegar, and you may get a buildup of gases. So you got to let the gas out. Um, but the whole idea is just to try to clean them up. Uh, it's not a burnishing round yet, but just just to you know avoid having to use a toothbrush or something else to the uh, the oak trees are letting go with their flowers pain in the butt I want to kind of fill this thing up so there's not too much rubbing between the rocks I don't want to wear them down I just want to see if I can shine them up and they're dirty so they're gonna have a bit of their own grit in there so I'm okay with that. Hey Daisy, what's that all about, eh? There's the salt. Hey, hey, out of there. And there's the vinegar. <laughs> I thought I might not have enough. Let's see. Uh, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. So. I'll just uh, button it up, start it spinning, and we'll see how it how it does. So here's the first problem. These rocks are rather heavy. <laughs> so this little machine is struggling. What I did do is put it on an angle so it's more weight against the, the little wheel that spins the spins the drum. See how this works. If nothing else, if it does it for a little bit of time, it should have washed the rocks pretty good. Okay, let's see how these puppies turned out. Yeah, it's black. It's gotten a bit foamy for whatever reason. Come on, out. Got her. Let's wash her off. Let's see what sort of job it did. That one, you can see the coppery color come through. Wow, it's got some weight, but I think that is a nickel sample, and I don't see any silver. What else we got? Okay, there is a thin vein of silver through here. It's somewhat shiny. Oh, this one's cool. You can see the vein of silver up in here. Another secondary vein down here. Holding the rock together. It's good. It's not 
incredibly shiny, but maybe we can do something with that. Another green rock. Not seeing any real silver coming through that. Put that aside. Let's look at some of the bigger ones. Yeah. What I can say though, well that's nice. I can see the silver vein right there. Didn't rinse it off completely perfectly. More silver on this side. Silver through there. Not bad. Not anything that's come through as pure. So, oh, well, there's an interesting nugget. I like that. I wouldn't do anything more with that. Just on the outside where it's rubbed a bit against the other rocks, it's come through as silver. There's another one. Lots of silver in that, silver and calcite. I wouldn't do anything further with that. Some broke off and became little nuggets. That's pretty neat. Here's another one, the calcite. Little blade of silver. It's just a rock. one yeah okay so here's well that's kind of funky I like that wow yeah that's cool but it's not real heavy but here's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take some of the ones that are not I think there's a lot of silver in that one and calcite. Look at the shiny is there. I think I'm going to take some of the ones that I'd like to, sh you know, some that are rough, like that one. I'm not going to do anything further with. But others, I'm going to. I'm going to put them in a burnishing round. There's silver there. Said so leave that one alone and uh, see if I can't make them really really shine up otherwise I think it came out better than just taking a toothbrush to it that one's fine. well I am pleased with the results of the experiment here's a larger rock with a lot of silver in it that uh, I cleaned by hand at the same time as as uh, rolling these other rocks, it started to rain. Oh, there goes a bunny. Hey, bunny. There he is. You all wet? Hey. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Get distracted. Oh, bunny. But uh, I'm pleased with the way some of these rocks turned out. Little nugget. Another little nugget. Now it's not sunny today, so because it's still still raining a bit, but uh, you can sure see the shine from some of these some of these guys. Um, gotta love that. Oh yeah, look at this one. Hopefully the camera picks it up. I'm very pleased with the way that turned out. You can see the the vein roll running through it, the calcite, the white calcite. Beautiful. Anyway, um, oh yeah, look at that. Put it nice and close. There we go. How's that look? Looks better than just having a rock, eh? Anyway, I'm pleased. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I, uh, I had fun with this experiment.